All right, so well, I'm going to start off by giving all praise and all glory to you. Have a watch from Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. The individual I have here on the screen, and she goes by the name of Jaguar Wright. And uh, she's known for doing a bunch of interviews and exposing a lot of wicked, perverse madness that be going on behind the scenes in, uh, you know, the, the highly weird industry because she was once upon a time you know running with those folks all right so she knows a lot of different inside information can i say all information is true no because i wasn't there but when you you know hear the things that she say they're not far-fetched and i know of things that she have said in recent interviews that are now starting to come to light that she have been speaking on for quite some time now so i do believe a lot of her information or a bit of her information is true okay because it do be a lot of weirdness going on within a whole holly weird entertainment industry but the, but besides that i want to touch on the fact that what she's about to say in this clip all right and what's going to stick out to you because you already know what we talk about is the karagma all right and watch for how she mentions this and my thing is this how you know how is it that you have regular individuals? It's not just her. You know, you got people from other nations, you know, Edomites and, uh, you know, d different people from different races will admit and tell you that the CHIP is the MOTB. They will tell you. But then you got Israelites out here telling you that the MOTB is sin or the MOTB is the white woman or the MOTB is the system. All this different madness instead of the MOTB being the RFID micro CHIP, which this devil wants to implant inside you. Now, if he gives it another name, so be it. It's going to it's going to because and I'm saying that because. I believe in Europe, it's called the NFC, C-H-I-P, and I believe it's called the Near Field Communication. But it's still a, a small grain, it's, a, it's still a device um, that is small of a grain of rice that they want to implant in you to make you subject to his system, his NWO, his digital system or his digital oppression, which I will call it, because that's what it's going to be. And ultimately, he wants to be the know-all, see-all, be-all because, as you read in the scriptures, he, the, the Edomites, okay, the so-called white man, has a what? A God complex. But, Lord willing, we'll get into that scripture in a minute. Let's just play this quick clip. Start any chaos. But I know what's about to happen next. I've been preparing for it for the past six years. You know, people see me come and go, but they don't know where I come where I go. <laughs> what I do know is when I read the Bible, it does not lie to me. It says in the last days, leave the cities, go back out to the rural lands of the country, learn how to make your own food because if you are... And like I said, just take everything, you know, with a grain of salt or as we say, eat the meat and spit out the bones. But just pay attention to what she is about to say, which is the point that I really want to hit home at. Attached to the system, they're going to own you. What's this? What's this? How they going to own you, right? They going to own you by what? That digital system, the digital oppression, which he wants to implant in you. What you going to do when money doesn't work anymore? Because money is almost over. Then that means there has to be another system of barter and trade. Chips are coming. Microchips are coming. Tell, what do you think is like when you say that's coming? What do you feel? And that's all I'm gonna play on now. Let's replay that real fast. Six years. You know, people see me come and go, but they don't know where I come, where I go. <laughs> what I do know is. When I read the Bible, it does not lie to me. It says in the last days, leave the cities, go back out to the rural lands of the country, learn how to make your own food because if you are attached to the system, they're gonna own you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's, this, what's this country gonna do when money doesn't work anymore? Because money is almost over. Mm -hmm. Then that means it has- Right, and taking the MOTB is gonna be the way how you're going to attach yourself to this system 
the NWO, the whole setup that he's, you know, uh, implementing around the world. Don't get it twisted. This ain't just no Babylon thing. All right. To be another system of barter and trade. Chips are coming. Microchips are coming. What do you think is like? There you have it. It's coming. So she understands it. She realizes it. How can't you other Israelites get it? I, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. How you don't understand this, right? But let's go into some scriptures. Let's get um, because I mentioned this. Go to the book of Second, <clears throat> Second Thessalonians chapter two verse. Three, it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come except there come a falling way first, and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. This is talking about the wicked. This is talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? And this, and that was taking place, how he was, uh, uh, how he has been revealed. This happened in uh, 70 AD, right? During the time when they was ruling as the Romans. That was their title. But guess what? Their race were Edomites. Now, what would he do? Who opposeth and exhorteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. This is what he's trying to portray, right? He's trying to show the world that he is the Most High, that what? Life and deletion comes from him. If you can't see, I'll be the one to heal. I'll be the one to heal the, your, your sickness. I'll be the one to heal your, heal your eyesight. I, I'll be the one if you can't, your pair I can't say it wrong. If your pair of, oh, I forget how to say that word. But if you, <laughs> if you have, let's just say you are, you know, your body don't, can't function well as far as, you know, uh, you can't walk, right? Or, or you're missing an arm. Well, this devil will figure out a way to, you know, get you a leg, right? Or get you a robotic leg. Or he'll get you a, a robotic arm or, or hand or whatever. We've seen these things. You remember watching Mortal Kombat in uh, Jax? Jax had that, uh, like, a steel robotic arm, you know? And that almost goes into trans, you know, um, H-U-M-A-N, you know, ism. Right, because he really wants you to be a, a, a freaking robot, right? He's trying to connect you with his tech, okay? Knowledge, all right. And we gotta say it this way because Esau's a he's a he's a child, right? He lets it take down our videos because he don't likes this information going out. But anyway, um, yeah. So uh, he like to show himself that he is the Most High. So he's like, look, I can fix whatever problem that you have. Right? I, I can make your life. If your life is hell, so to speak, I can turn it to glory. But then I can also turn your glory to hell. Right? Like I said, if you're sick, I heal you. Right? And if you're in good health, <laughs> I'll make you have sickness. Right? We already talked about the unalive in the, in the deletion. One second. All right? So it's like what he's saying is everything can come come. Through everything will come through him. Right? This is what he's saying to the people, to the world. That he is this person that will fix whatever problem that is happening on the earth. He is the one to go to. He is the one to call on. He is the one to be washed up. Instead of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Right? And there's many different ways that I can brought out examples. But I'm just, you know, giving you a few. Alright? So verse 5 says, remember ye not... That when I was, was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know that withhold, what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let. Right? And it's the most high who's letting him do these things. You know, because he got to fulfill prophecy, right? Until he be taken out of the way. And he's coming in that time where he is about to be taken out of the way. And right now, he has been loosed for a little season. So verse 8, it says, and, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's what he's doing through the spirit of his mouth. Who's his mouth? The prophet. And he's being destroyed. Okay, his curse has been lifted up, and he has been exposed on all levels. 
even about other Edomites, as the scriptures say, their tongues shall fall upon themselves, right? So verse 9, it says, uh, even him who's what? Whose coming is after the working of Satan, right? Which is the adversary, right? An opposer of the Most High. That's why he does everything contrary to the Heavenly Father. He opposes everything the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, pushes forth out in the earth or has pushed forth or have set up, Salakia, have set up and made in the earth. He does the opposite, right? He always got some type of alternative substitute, right? Because in, in his eyes, he believed the Heavenly Father when he said it wasn't good, uh, when he said it was good, that's not the case, right? Let me, let me do it my way, Esau's way, right? His way is complete hell. So it says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might receive. All right. Now, I want to go to this scripture. OK, we always bring this out. The book of Revelation chapter 13, because remember, she talked about when the money system fell, what they're going to have to put a new system in place. And we see the new system being put in place. We're seeing the setup. The book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 15, it says, And he had power to give life into the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And we're seeing this happen through this whole system. Right, we're seeing the rev this is the revival of Rome 2.0 all over again. This whole beast system, right? And he causes what? And what do we want to do? And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a M A R K in their right hand or in their foreheads, the karagma, and that no man might buy or sell, save or unless he had the M A R K or the number. Slot here, or the name of the beast or the number of his name you see so he wants you to be connected to this system if you're not connected to this system then what you're going to be an outcast all right but see we through faith we're going to trust in yahweh the elect going to trust in yahweh by hashem yahweh shai because the lord said i'm a feed i'm a feed man you know you think i'm just going to feed you if you my sheep you think i'm just going to feed you with knowledge wisdom and understanding I'm going to feed you more than that, especially in a time of need, in a time to come. Right? What it says, my servant shall, my servant shall eat and drink. So we're going to be well took care of, however it might go. You know, we don't know how it's going to take place. But, we, but what we do know through faith, that the Lord keeps his word. Right? That's what we do know for sure, for sure. That the, the Lord, that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, keeps his word. Word. Now let me end off with this real fast, as I just thought of it through the Spirit. The Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter two, verse ten. Right, because I just made that statement. Check this out. Look at the generations of old. Salakia, uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter two, verse ten. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that? Well, whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So all we got to do is trust in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. That's all we got to do. Okay? Akiyam and Akwa, which is brothers and sisters in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew. Right? Or tongue. That's all we got to do is continue to trust in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Okay? Just as our forefathers did. All right? So that's uh, the point through the spirit that I want to touch on. You know, hey, she know it. How come you? Hmm? How come you other end of you other Israelites don't know about the C H I P? Cause y'all playing games. Shalom.